<laughs> Hello! We are the Film Pigs. Welcome. Film Pigs movie review. We have just seen a spectacular film. Todd Robert Anderson, what uh, was the film? It was called Bad Lieutenant Port of Call New Orleans. <laughs> and Stephen Falk, can you explain what this movie was about? Wow. Uh, Nick Cage is a bad lieutenant, and he's uh, on the case of, of these five Senegalese people who were murdered. And uh, he has a terrible, terrible drug problem. And uh, he see he starts hallucinating and seeing iguanas running around, and then he sees a break dancer. This movie was wackadoo. It, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was wackadoo. I thought it was going to suck, and it was hilariously it was entertaining. Great. Yes, it was a zany cop romp. <laughs> and it, it was fun to see uh, Nick Cage be the old unhinged actor he once was again. Oh, yeah, although, yeah. I was so confused because in the middle of the movie, he He's just adopted a completely weird accent. different accent. Yeah, no, in he, the he, middle of the movie. In the middle of the movie, he no becomes reason. like drunk Jimmy Stewart. <laughs> it is awesomely confusing. It was directed by Werner Herzog, who's, yeah. uh, God bless that guy. He's not going to be branded. <laughs> you will not let him, you can't put that guy in a box from Fitzcarraldo to the damn Grizzly movie to this. <laughs> it is, it is it's, bananas. Yeah. It is a bananas it movie. Is, but it, it's an entertaining bananas movie. And I just, Nick Cage, maybe, you know, he was, he found out he had no money in the middle of all this. So Maybe that's why his voice changed. Maybe that's why his voice yeah. changed. He was just screaming at his accountant every day. <laughs> Well, all right. Now, what have we seen lately, Steve? I went and saw Invictus. Oh, oh how is that? Oh, I didn't like that. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Matt Damon is really pumped up because he's playing a rugby guy. Yeah, I saw like guy. some some trailers. Where he's he's like, really scary bulky. looking, yeah. and and with all the bulk, his acting left. Like the, it's just there's Are no. Are you sure it wasn't John Cena? Uh, it's really undramatic. There's a lot of like slow, bad slow mo rugby, which is not a very interesting. It's a weird game if you're an American. I apologize to all our UK people. It's just I don't understand it. It's a we it's a weird movie. Uh, Freeman's great. It's just there's no real arc. It's just kind of a, like a they win and hey something happens. It's like a slice of rugby. Brings yeah brings South slice Africa together. Yeah, it's, a slice of, it's a cl it's a it's classic a sl slice of rugby movie. Todd, what have you seen lately? Um, I saw. Planet 51, um, uh, alien cartoon show. Oh, the alien cartoon show. Uh, right. Which wasn't nearly as bad as all the critics said. It's a perfectly mediocre cartoon show. And uh, I saw the fantastic Mr. Fox, which I enjoyed. I thought it was pretty funny. Um, I, I, I only go to cartoon movies now. But, you know, the other night, Wednesday, this past Wednesday, December uh, the 2nd, was the this greatest, is, this greatest is all, day. This is the only thing I was going to mention that I've seen lately, because it's the only thing that fucking matters anymore. <laughs> what is this? The greatest piece of television ever uh, on oh, oh, I know. Steven Seagal Lawman. 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 With, a, with, with. Seagal vision. Seagal, it has Seagal vision. He has a Seagal yeah, cam? Yeah, because the, there's a Seagal, there's, there's this b the brilliant editing technique that's f frankly overused within the first three minutes of the show, where every time Seagal looks at something in the patrol car, then there's like this like whoosh, oh and then it God. goes to like closer slow-mo and filtered, because he's catching shit. He sees crime. <laughs> Simply the greatest Thing piece ever. of entertainment ever. that's ever been created. Ever. Every, they should just shut everything else down uh, all theaters should shut down all tv stations should shut all down all of broadway all broadway, all broadway. Yeah, just no shut more. it down wow. just sorry wicked down. the only thing that should happen entertainment wise is every wednesday at 10 o'clock annie comes on and shows lawman and That's then it. everything else is dark well, for the rest of the week because gonna... the re everything else is a waste don't cancel hoarders all right film pigs listicle the listicle this week is name uh, your name the best and worst Nick Cage performance. See? Oh me. Uh, I uh, gosh. Well, there are holes in my Nick Cage uh, filmography. I haven't seen all of them. Like Eight Millimeter, I never saw, or like uh, uh, Bangkok Dangerous, which I imagine would would maybe be this movie. I'm not going to restrict us by what we have seen or have not seen. Oh geez, Louise. <laughs> yeah. Can I go just on hairpiece? <laughs> Because it's yeah, because yeah. next, right? Or no, fuck, Bank I Dangerous. <laughs> can we get back? Con, let, con come back. Right, right, right. Come back. Tom, to me. Tom, come back best to me. Nick Cage performance. Worst Nick Cage performance. Uh, best Nick Cage performance is a, a three-way tie between Vampires what? Kiss. Three-way tie. Vegas. I couldn't decide. Oh, uh, you can uh, take and, all and of them. Honeymoon in Vegas, and it, but pretty much anything with Vegas in the title. 
And then his, his I'm glad you said leaving leaving Las Vegas. That's a very good move. Yeah, and and then uh, worst is uh, uh, like a ten way tie <laughs> between everything that's come out in the everything last 10 that he's years. done except for Bad Lieutenant <laughs> since the year 2000. I, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna say uh, best face off. I really enjoy him in that Face movie. It's it's a, not only a really good action movie, but him and Travolta are probably career highs. Yeah, yeah. playing each other. And that's just a stupid fun. Movie. And they're just they're two fucking idiots in yeah. that movie, but they make it really work. Uh, and bad. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. National Treasure just because it made a lot of money. Yeah. It, but he is it, bad. He is bad in that, yeah. I mean, for me, I, Raising Arizona is always my soft spot uh, for fuck. best performance. Yeah, fuck. that's a good one. Raising can I Arizona. take mine back? You can. Raising Arizona. <laughs> well, Valley Girl, he's awesome in yeah. Valley Girl. Uh, Valley Girl's great, too. Yeah. And and Worst yeah. is is next. Because he's just... I didn't see that. He's just didn't an didn't old... He's like an old, hacky Vegas magician who, for some reason, Jessica Biel falls in love with him, and he can see the future. Ah. Uh. But what he's just, he's just, he's, he's just so, st- clearly so tired in that movie. Right, right. What was that movie where he, um, he, he got a lottery ticket and then, like, gave it to Bridget Fonda? Oh, oh, yeah. I can't remember the I name. I didn't like it that. Was, it was lottery ticket. <laughs> lottery, t- lottery ticket, the movie? Yeah. He got uh, a lottery ticket and gave it, could, it, could, yeah. it It could happen to, to you. It could happen to you. Oh, it could happen to you. Anyway, from... <laughs> that's that's the listicle. He's and great clearly, in adaptation. Clearly, clearly oh, adaptation is oh, really yeah, good yeah, into yeah. yeah. Playing Donald. But also. but clearly, our listicle is as much of a mess as Nick Cage's performance <laughs> career.